All right, these runners are ready. Are you guys ready? All right, the runners are going. Who's gonna have first audio? And it looks like it's going to be Teeks with the first audio. Who's gonna take the first lead? It's already Teeks, it's already, no, we'll, we'll see. We'll see who gets first point. Human Mustard and Teeks both going for the mushroom. Human Mustard not getting the mushroom. He's probably gonna grab this, ooh, almost ran into the turtle there. Um, so I asked Human Mustard and he says he has a PB of uh, roughly 54 something. He says he's not quite, he doesn't remember. Um, but I, 54 sounds about right. Ooh, Teeks not getting early P-Speed. I don't know, Teeks. Nice, Human Mustard getting early P-Speed. Gonna be able to catch up some time he lost in 1-1. One, one. Not so bad. All, all the memes that Human Mustard was doing, and then he comes back with these awesome speed strats. So you gotta, you love to see it. You love to see it. Teeks going for early P speed. He gets it. He's gonna avoid the waffle. Doesn't want to take damage. That's a big time loss for that. Ooh, not quite early P speed for Human Mustard. He's gonna be. He doesn't have to avoid the the waffle. Oh! Too much frog suiting. I wonder what happened there. I wonder what happened there. He's gonna have to take that early death. Let's see if Teeks can get the uh, the MFP tunnel here. Looking good, looking good. Oh, and he touches the back of his foot there. So, does that mean Teeks has taken the lead or, or what's going on with that? No, I think Human Mustard's great. He does a lot of a lot of interesting things. He does a lot of interesting uh, speed runs. Uh, frog Suit is definitely one of them. So if you like Frog Suits, if you enjoy those runs, make sure you go and uh, give him a follow. Um, he joins randomizer tournaments here and there. He joins my points tournaments. He's here pretty much for every season, um, and he's he's a really nice guy. So he always puts on a good show. And what he's doing today is is awesome uh, for Teeks. Helping Teeks get his race in, get some points in. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, Teeks is going to get the fire flower, or sorry, get the leaf. I saw leaf, but I said fire flower. Does Teeks get the throne jump? Teeks does not get the throne jump. No throne jumps for Teeks. Nice, and Human Mustard does get the early P-Speed. The P-Speed on that platform in one six can be really, really annoying. Really, really annoying. Mustard, probably about 30 or 40 seconds behind here, taking that unfortunate death in the fortress. He's got Hammer Brother um, and Mushroom House. So we'll see if he takes the Mushroom House here. Oh, he, I thought he said no inventory stars. Oh, and he also does not get the throne jump, so we're not going to be able to get that one. Ooh, Teek's getting a weird shot there with the Cheerios. You gotta look out for those shots. Sometimes, sometimes the boss can do... Sometimes the boss can jump right at the start. You, you enter the pipe and sometimes he'll just randomly jump. And that is by far the worst pattern to get. That, that's gotta be something with like, going extremely fast in the overworld map or like, I don't know, entering the pipe a frame earlier or something. I, I don't even know what it is, but yeah. Ooh, 
All right, here comes Human Mustard. So Human Mustard's about, let's see, Teeks enters World 2 at 14, or 421. We'll see where Teeks is on that one. Nice, Teeks having a solid 2-1 here. Oh, gets the, oh man, I don't, yeah, he definitely did not want to jump on that. Like, what? Where did his peace speed go? What an awkward thing to do. What an awkward thing to do. Nice, so Teeks is gonna go back, he's gonna go for... Ooh, awkward, awkward numbers, but I think he... Oh no, he knows now a little bit where it is, but he was unable to get it. Hey, they lined up for a minute there, that was awesome. They lined up there for a minute. All right, no moat of tears on Teeks' side. We don't want to see no moat. It's possible for anyone. Oh! Nice, no slipped inputs. Very nice. Human Mustard with the full big jump over. Damn! Teeks almost got a Fire Flower fanfare, but he knows the strat. All right, Human Mustard not going to go for the Spade card game. He's going to save a bit of time on Teeks there with that, which is... Uh, which is pretty good. Neither runner has gotten any extra points yet during the race. Teek's not getting early P speed. Oh, but he does get it later. Human Mustard falls in the moat. The moat of tears. Now it's getting it's getting bigger. It's filling. More, more, more tears. More, more, more. All right, both players in the same level. Nice, Human Mustard also slipping up a little bit with early P-Speed. Both runners not having a good time in that fortress. Uh, wow, I thought for a second Teeks was gonna get uh, a Tass early hammer. Gonna go for the Red Rocket strat. He should be familiar with it. I know he's played around with it and he has actually done testings with it before, so. Uh, it's not something that Teeks doesn't know, and he does get it right there. That's Teeks' first awarded point. Very nice. Neither runner has taken damage yet in World 2. That's good. That's very good. You and Muster are going to be the first one to fight a hammer, brother. He's not going to go for it, though. Teeks is going to go for this one, and Teeks gets... A forward moving bro, so unfortunately he's not going to be able to get that. Human Mustard with some crazy swag dodging strategies. That was very close. He almost didn't make it. He's going to have to throw the shell now, and he does get it. Very nice. But he loses Fire Flower, though, and that is not good. That is not good, but he does get the Red Rocket, which is good. So, not bad. He gets his point back. As it stands, the point difference isn't that big, except for Teeks has not taken damage yet. And Teeks is also getting both the Hammer Brothers in this world. So Human Mustard is not eligible for both Hammer Brothers moving backwards because he didn't fight the first one. Teeks is going to have to go down and do 2-5. Very easy. 2-5 is one of the more easier stages in World 2. Nintendo was pretty good with this game with doing like a uh, slightly easier path uh, versus a little bit more difficult. 2-4 is much more difficult than 2-5. However... 2-4 is pretty easy if you if you fly at the top. Teeks is going to go back. He's going to try and get his 10. And he does get it. Very nice on Teeks' side. Getting the 10 card from that point. Human must have going for the Mushroom House. Not sure exactly what he wanted there. I don't know if it was uh, if he was going for a random frog suit or not. But all I know is that the hammer, the, the Mushroom House behind the rock where the Warp Whistle Hammer Brother is, that Mushroom Mouse will always give you a Frog Suit. And I know Human Mustard wants uh, to do Frog Suit at some point. Teeks with a very nice Pyramid. Human Mustard coming around. Human Mustard is actually going to benefit here a little bit. He's going to be able to get his Fire Flower back and he's going to have to... He's going to be able to fight the Hammer Bro that he wants um, without having to do anything weird. Have a little slip up. So... If anyone wonders what happened there with Human Mustard, is he actually pressed down by accident. Um, he pressed down by accident on the hill, or he meant to, like that might be a strat, but that's why you sometimes see Mario come to a dead stop when they're running down slopes, or even going up slopes sometimes. If you press that down input, it will stop you in your tracks. Teeks unfortunately not getting the first throne jump, so this throne jump's not gonna matter. Human Mustard's gotta go up and fight this Hammer Brother. 
Nice, and they're not too far behind. They're not too far behind. Ooh, Teeks with the unfortunate 33 coins. He's not too close to coin ship right now though, so he's he's okay, he's okay. All right, moving on to world three. Yeah, thank you very much, Fugly. Very, very much appreciate that. All right, here we go. What is in those crates? Let's go ahead and fix Human Mustard's timer here. Fixed. So easy. Teeks gonna go for the fire kill as long as he doesn't take damage here. Very nice. Teeks has not taken damage just yet. Oh no, Mustard, don't go through the boss! It's very possible to go right through the boss. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right, let's see who gets the frame perfect jump and let's see who doesn't get it. Teeks gonna be the first one to go for it. Ooh, Teeks does not get it. Human Muscle could take a point here. If he is familiar with it, I'm not sure if he tries for the frame jump here or not. Ah, the good old swims. Ah, yes. Teeks' his first day at the beach. It's a glorious day. Oh, and Human Mustard doesn't get it. I thought he was going to get it. Teeks' going to go for fast 3 2. Very scary, but he's going to do it. He's very familiar with it. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Nice human muscle getting his mushroom back in that little that little secret there, the little cavern or whatever you want to call it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Teek's gonna do 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three has actually consumed a couple souls in the tournament so far. It's uh it's been pretty rough on some people. So hope that Teeks get, gets away nicely here. Nice, you must are gonna grab his fire flower back. That's what I wanna see, that's good. That's a good grab back. Teeks is also not taking damage yet. And uh, he's gonna try his uh, new and improved metronome trick for the door, the door four. He is now a door four runner. I love it. All right, let's see if he gets it. And he gets it! Very nice, Teeks. He, he is very happy about that. He's getting very good. Unfortunately, if he had spent that much time in a run, uh, the door trick actually wouldn't have saved him any time. Uh, it's just unfortunately a little too, too long. All right, and then now he's gonna do, he's gonna kill these guys. He might be able to get uh, music box list in this run as well. Let's see what happens here. Neither runner has gotten Runaway yet. Human Mustard's kind of close. Oh, and Teeks is close right there. Does he think he's going to get Runaway? Or what's what's his strat here? What's going on? Oh, and Human Mustard doesn't get Door 4. Very nicely done. So Teeks is going to do this. Now well, let's see what happens here. Okay, okay. So is he gonna do the fortress as well? Well, that was a weird coin to grab. 
All right, Human Mustard gonna fight the Hammer Brother as well. Hasn't died yet, so the cycle of the bridges are not, like, off or anything. Ah, very nice. So he's just gonna do the one extra level. And uh, Human Mustard... Very close to a Runaway Bro here. He has one last chance for Runaway Bro to actually take an effect. Whoa, that was a weird grab. Did you guys see that on the side of the block? I've never really seen something like that. Normally, you have to be up higher and like a little bit more over the block. Maybe he clipped into the side of the block, grabbed it. Some weird like that. Ooh, Human Mustard not getting Runaway Bro. He's going to have to fight the Star Bro, so he's not going to be eligible. Oh, and the hammer hits him. I have definitely seen that before. Ugh. That's so lame, but it happens. It happens. Nice making his way through 3 8. So there's a slightly big difference here with the uh, runner's strategies in uh, World 3 that they had to do. Human Mustard had to fight both the Hammer Brothers and then just cloud over like it's a normal uh, Mario 3 warpless run. Whereas Teeks got the Hammer but didn't want to fight... Uh, he didn't want to fight the Star Bro because he wanted the extra points. So he clouded over, did level 7, got the cloud back, and then went down. Um... Which is probably slightly faster in this format. Nice! Human Mustard with the H jump. Yes, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, for Teeks, I think it's a little faster because he has the hammer for the fortress rather than putting it into sleep and going across and doing the fortress, so. But then again, Teeks did do a hammer, brother, and an extra level. So I don't know. Whereas he could have just skipped it all and just done the extra level in World 4. But that makes it pretty tough with the Hammer Brothers in World 4. So I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's, a, that's a tough thing. So neither runner got Runaway Bro. Teeks is eligible for no loss of Fire Flower. Um, however, he cannot get that until he finishes Wendy. It's very possible to take damage on Wendy. We'd hate to see it. We would definitely hate to see it, but it's possible. All right, here we go. Very nice for Tease. No lost fire flower. Ooh. Do do. Very nice. Yes, uh, both runners missed their World 1 Throne Jumps, so Throne Jumps here don't matter as much. They don't matter as much. Oh. Alright, we're gonna need a bottom pattern here for Teeks. Meanwhile, T or, uh, Human Muster finishing up World 3. Ooh, Teeks with the body rub. Wasn't expecting that. Oh! Oh, he just... Oh, he all... I swear he almost went top route. That was way too scary, but he does get bottom route there. All to himself. <laughs> not what you want to see. That is definitely not what Teeks wants to see for World 4. World 4 does not like Teeks at all. Or Stewie. You know what? World 4 doesn't like anyone. Which is weird, because everyone likes World 4. Alright, Human Mustard not far behind. I'm going to guess the Human Mustard is going to do the Shell strategy. No, he's not. He's just gonna... he's just going. I'm curious as to what he does in the speed run. I, I could have sworn he does get P-Speed in this level. So Teeks is going to be able to skip the fortress, and so is Human Mustard, actually. 
Oh, not quite. Not quite a marathon, Mr. Teeks. That was definitely not a marathon. Nice, he gets the little fake P speed. He's probably not gonna throw the third spiny. But he goes for the jump off him anyways, very nice. I think this is gonna cause a different kind of despawn. He should be, Never mind. Wow, what a snipe, dude. Even on Teeks' side, he couldn't see that spiny until he threw it. Right, like I know I have a little bit of like uh, ceiling there on the overlay, but yeah, he even he couldn't see that one. So that's kind of trolly. Nice, mu good music box spot here for Teeks. He's gonna go for all ducking. Oh, and Human Mustard with the death in 4-3. Very unfortunate. Ooh, Teeks keeps his P-Speed. The, the Season 2 training, and he does get it. Very nice. But no marathon for him. And unfortunately, Human Mustard's going to have to take that death there. Okay, nothing here, nothing here, nothing here just yet. Teeks is going to get his Fire Flower back here. Human Mustard going to get his Mushroom. Both runners needing to grab power-ups. Oh, yeah. Yeah, small Mario is very scary. Ooh, Teek's not having the P speed, which would make sense not being able to not being able to do uh... um, Yeah, he had to grab his fire flower, so you can't get P speed when you do that Movement of one pattern human must are now on the 4-4 level 4-4 is the hardest level in this world. Always random mistakes, always bad things happening. Nice, Human Mustard. Okay, this is where it gets very scary. He does take the damage, but unfortunately... Oh, he jumped up into it! And again, Human Mustard also cannot see. The Lakitus are being assholes this run for both runners. What an asshole. Did you see that? Horrible. Yeah, that's what I... Oh my gosh. You should be safe. Okay. Okay. You know, it would be... It would be nice if the Lactus made a sound when you threw... Through the... When he threw the spinies. Like a... Whew, Something. Oh, the bagler getting wrecked in my chat. Just, uh, I, I came back to see that amazing. Human Mustard unfortunately getting a star in his inventory, but he had already done that in World 3. Oh, forgot the duck jump. Yeah, it's a little too late for that now. Yeah, the first jump was not a duck jump, unfortunately. Damn, you hate to see it, guys. You hate to see it. Oh, thank goodness he didn't get a fanfare. All right, so that bro is out of his way. Yeah, that's a P-Wing bro. He does want the P-Wing bro. Nice, Teeks is out of there. Human Mustard has one level left in World 4. Beep, beep, beep. So just a quick reminder for anyone who doesn't know, Human Mustard is filling in the bracket so that Teeks has an opponent to face. Teeks' opponent dropped out, which was the Haxer. So Teeks was all left alone, scared in a world. Takes him for granted. So Human must have stepped in and said, you know what? I can come back. I'll do a race. I'll do the tournament. So it's good. Um, if, if these two were seated naturally, it would not be fairly seated. Um, so... That's why I think this is a great race, and I, I really, really appreciate Human Mustard doing something good for the tournament here. Oh, Teak's messing up a little bit. What happened to Haxer? He got scared. 
He got scared. Teeks is too powerful. Look at all Teeks' points. Uh, Haxer dropped out because his um, NES didn't arrive on time. Uh, so he was unable to practice. Teeks gonna go for the 82 strats. Very nice, 284. This should give him the point. Boom. 282, very nice. Very nice for Teeks' side. Oh! Movement of four right there. Teeks with a movement of four, that's what he wants to see. He's gonna put them to sleep. Haxer, you didn't drop out before there was a replacement. The tournament had already started. I had to I had to cancel the tournament, reorganize all the names again, and then find some to fill in. No, it's true. I had to cancel the tournament, and then remember, I I asked the runners if they could tell me all the names of everyone paired up. We had to reinitialize all the names and stuff. Not true lies. Yeah, I, so I know you dropped out before the race has actually started, but in challenge you have to start the tournament, which means you can't modify or move anyone's names or anything, right? So when you dropped out, I had to cancel the tournament and then start it again, but it changed everyone's positioning, so we had to reorganize it. And then I had to find someone to fill in for you, which was a week before the race. But it's no big deal, man. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you dropped out when you did because you know it's it's not it's not like ideal if you drop out like 20 minutes before your race. <laughs> you guys are you guys are little shit. Teeks! Oh no! Don't go for it, Teeks! Oh my god! He made it. That was way too close. That was way too close. He did get the big Koopa jump. I'm glad you dropped that MFP. Not, not that way. Oh, Teeks gets another movement of four. He needs one more movement of four. Does he go for early P-Speed? He gets early P-Speed. Oh my gosh. I think Teeks is going to full card a world five. Human Muster's going to have to watch out for these jumping nippers. Ah, he makes it. Hax is right. I, met, I, messed, I messed everything up. It's okay. I'm, I freaked it all up. I freaked up the rules, I freaked up the brackets. And Teeks getting the movement of four! Just like that, man. This is uh this is an insane race. Classic McGruber. Alright, human mustard getting a movement of two there, not quite a movement of four. Oh, the shell jump mid-air. Insane. And that's crazy. Teeks' hammer Teeks' movements of four have stopped after he already got the movement of four. So what does that what does that tell you? Uh human mustard gonna go for the Tanuki Fire Flower, just the mushroom for safety? Yes, mushroom for safety. Very nice. There's actually a really cool exiting P Speed strategy here that I like. Teeks did get early P Speed. He did get early P Speed. Type exclamation tournament if you want to learn about the rules and how all the points work. Teeks with another movement of four. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Boom booms are so easy to beat. Yeah, but boom booms cousin bam bams aren't aren't as easy. The bomb bombs. All right, Teeks gonna use his cloud here. Stuck fighting this bro. Meanwhile, Human Mustard is beating the Fortress. Very nice. I think we're I think we're gonna see Human Mustard go for the big jumps here. The big jumps. Nice using a star here. Not a bad star usage. I use a star here in 100. I like it. I think it's a good star usage. Uh, 
is it really necessary to disrespect who's disrespecting the runners? You're gonna get you're gonna get a slap on slap on the bum. You're gonna get a spanking for that. Now surely no one here wants a spanking. Grow up, guys. Come on. Come on. Grow up. That's paddling. That's paddling. Very nice, you must are finishing up the pyramid right now. The Twisty Castle, sorry, which is not a level. What? What? Human Muster just re... re just fix this canvas size, thank you. All right, he made it in. He's about to finish the airship here. So we'll see if Human Monster does get early P-Speed of 5-5. Five, five. And if he doesn't, then Teeks gets the point. Still no movements of four for, for Human Mustard. Oh man, I thought he was gonna get it. He, it was shaping up, man, it was shaping up. Early P-Speed there for Teeks, man, that's crazy. He didn't lose his Fire Flower. Human Mustard gets peace. Oh man, he's gotta watch out for that one. Yeah, if you if you get that late peace speed build, unfortunately you have to. Uh, where are we? World five, right? Unfortunately you have to jump off of the uh, the Chomp Snake. I think is what he's called, the Fire Chomp Snake. Nice, gonna get the peace speed here, so he doesn't have to worry about it. Yeah, there we go. Much better. All right, what is Teeks' first hammer brother going to be? High or low? Is Teeks getting high or is Teeks getting low? Teeks is getting low. Very nice on Teeks' side. Human Muster getting a movement of three. Gonna get the music box. That's exactly what he needs here. Uh, and Teeks getting a nice marathon just for him. Hammer brother split up. But they split up in just a way where he had to get a nice juicy movement of four before they, you know, thanks. Nice little juicy movement of two there. Teeks with the not 2011 strategies. Love to see it. Look at how well he's doing. Where's Where'd this kid come from? Where'd this kid come from? Where'd this kid come from? That looked like a movement of four for human mustard. Right on, right on. All right, let's see. Teeks' is second hammer, brother, goes high. Holy crap. Teeks is just getting way too many points here. And he does get the despawn. All right, Human Mustard has made it through. It's another movement of two, uses Cloud, and he's out of World 5. Uh, Human Mustard has not lost his Fire Flower in World 5 since he's got it, so he's not gonna be punished for that point. Wow. Teeks' run is insane right now. What is going on with Teeks right now? Teeks got no extra inventory stars. Oh, and Human Mustard loses his Fire Flower. Now Teeks does have his leaf from World One. He's got he's got a point in his back pocket. Oh no, Teeks! Oh my goodness! Remembers to use his leaf. He does remember to use his leaf. He's gonna take damage because he wants to go for that wall jump. Oh! Oh, 
okay, I guess not. I thought Teeks was doing um, sub pixel manipulation, but he did the turn back at the end of the card, so sadly. Oh, he's gonna do it in here. Oh, Teeks is giving away his secrets. Oh my God, that is so clutch. Oh, he messed up. I feel like he jumped a little too late on the wall though. That was, that was 200 IQ. Now everyone in the tournament is gonna be doing that. I don't see, I don't know why anyone wouldn't do that in the tournament now. He definitely just gave that one away. Very nice, Teeks. Very nice. I was not expecting that. Yeah, I think he ran too far on the starting block. Or messed up a sub-pixel manipulation, who knows. Alright, Human Mustard, is he gonna get high or low? He's gonna get low pattern. Teeks, Small Mario, gonna get the Mushroom to try for the clip. Keeps P-Speed, not an easy thing to do. Let's see if he gets the clip here. Oh, and he does not get the clip. I normally wouldn't advise doing a duck jump into the clip. Um, but everyone, everyone does things that they're comfortable with. Nice, Human Mustard going for the damage boost. Strategies. Nice, he does make it over. If I was Teeks, I wouldn't have showed that wall jump until round two. Scheduled last, too. Nice, Human Mustard. Made, Human Mustard made a really good decision there. Um, because if he doesn't have a star there and he runs in the side of the Boom Boom, he will take a death. So if a star does run out, he will be able to jump over him. Human Mustard also getting a marathon in World 6. Not as long as Teeks is though. Teeks got a pretty big marathon there. Bum, 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 beep, 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 bum, bum. Oh my gosh. What was, was that like a movement of eight right there? Non-marathon movement of eight? Love, love that. Great game. <laughs> oh my gosh. The disrespect from these bros. Whoa, human mustard using a P-wing. Well, I guess it, I guess he could just use his leaf in the next level. That makes sense, right? Yeah. So what's he gonna do here? Oh. Oh man, imagine! Oh, so close. All right, let's see if Teeks is gonna go for 100% guaranteed sub pixel 15. He is going for it. And he did get it, Subpixel 15. So what he did, what Teeks just demonstrated is a strategy that will guarantee giving you Subpixel 15, which allows you to get standing clip first try every time, if you execute it properly, of course. Um, however, as you saw, it does lose time. Um, Human Mustard, I'm pretty sure, got high and low. He started off low and he did get a high bro there. There's no way he got three lows. We can get somebody to double check, but I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he got low and high. So as long as Teeks doesn't mess up his actual physical inputs, he will get first try clip here. And he messed up his physical inputs, unfortunately, but he... Oh, I thought he was going to get a second try. Doesn't quite get a second try. Um, and that that just goes to show, guys, that 7-1 that isn't simply, oh, jump into the wall, I can't do it. Like, no, you actually need to physically practice 7-1. It is a strategy, it is a trick, it is something in the game that you do need to play with. Uh, to get comfortable with, because the subpixels alone aren't the only thing that's going to get you through that wall. Um, if you're not going to worry about subpixels or physically practice it, then you shouldn't complain too much, because it is random, and sadly... No bumps yet for Teeks. Going to use that star. Human Mustard, he's going to go for the wall jump. If he gets wall jump first try here, he will actually get a point, which would be amazing. I want to see it. Oh. Nice try, Human Mustard. Oh, I think he got the clip there. He didn't fall right away. 
It's hard for me to tell on my side if it gets the clip or not. Not quite. Oh. There we go. Nice, Mustard. Nice. Teek's having to worry about getting punished here. Hopefully he doesn't. That little turnback's not going to cost you, so you're good. Oof. He's going to get the Lakitu jump. No. Ooh, that's so scary, man. If you bump off the wall, that is very scary. Human Mustard figuring out strats. Uses his P-Wing there. No bumps, no bumps from Teeks. Nice, Human Mustard. Gonna go back and get that mushroom. Oh, almost gets hit there. Teeks using P-Wing in the pipe, so he's gonna go for the 183. Doesn't bump on the overworld map either. Oh, that was actually so close, Mustard. That was so freaking close. Nice, 183. 183 from Teeks. Meanwhile, Human Mustard also fighting his own Boom Boom. Gonna go for first try, 7-6. Oh, I think he jumped a little too late there. Nice, and he gets a, what's that, about third try, right? Not getting all the points, Teeks. Thought you were good at this game. Just kidding, Teeks is doing great. Um, Human Mustard did get Starbro, didn't get four clip, no wall jump. He did get wall jump, but it wasn't first try. If he did get a first try, he would have actually got a point. Um, and he didn't get a leaf from World 1, so he was unable to use it in 3A. So moving on to World 7 for Human Mustard. Teeks has no star, and that time that he took to go into his inventory is death is gonna cost them some cycles here. But I think he goes for Hammer Suit. Oof. Almost taking the death there. Gonna go for hammer suit strats. This nails it. As long as he doesn't bonk on the overworld. Nice, he doesn't want to lose this. I think Teeks is going to cloud 7-9. Oh, that was a big jump there. That was awkward. Nice, not getting a flower. I think Teeks is gonna do 7-4-2. Human Mustard finishing up on blue ship. Okay, he's gonna go for this first. Oh! On the fly strat saving! Very nice from Teeks. That was on the fly. He definitely did not mean to do that. There's he he has to hit the, the one on the pipe. Very nice. He should be safe here. He should be safe. Okay, that was way too scary. Nice, Human Mustard getting stomp kill. I saw that. Gonna be able to grab the one, and now he's gonna have to battle 7-1. And no bonk for Teeks. No bonk for Teeks. All right, Human Mustard, no bonks. No, um, he doesn't even, he doesn't have a P-Wing. He does, but I don't know exactly where he's going to use it. And first try, clip 7-6. Come on, Human Mustard, you got this. So as you can see, with the way Human Mustard does the strategy, when he presses down, he presses down a little too hard, which drastically changes uh, his sub pixels. So there's lots of points where he could have got it. And I mean, obviously it works both ways, right? He could push down a lot and give himself the right sub pixel, but then he's got to aim his jump properly, right? And that's why stand clip, which successfully worked there, you don't have to worry about that when you do stand clip. You don't have to worry about your duck jump with positioning. You don't have to worry about with your duck jump with how long you're holding duck for, but it e it is easier to duck jump into the wall and get the clip Standing clip is a little bit more difficult. Human Mustard could get the 10 bucks here. He could get the 10 bucks. Forgets what he got, but he's got a mushroom leaf here. So let's see if uh, let's see if he can deduce. He did the same thing last time. He does get the mushroom. 
20 bucks. No. Okay, so he knows a couple cards. Oh, there's another spade game. He could go back. Not gonna go back for it, though. Still no box on the overworld map. He's looking pretty good. Ooh, what? How does that work? He had P-Speed. Maybe he jumped a little too early. Nice, gonna go back build P-Speed. It's better than being in that freaking death pit. That's for sure. Very nice, build P-Speed's bat. And Teeks is on his way to auto-scroller land. Good old auto-scroller land. <gasps> oh, don't panic! Oh, he just made it! Very nice. Human Mustard got wall jump, but not first try. Yeah, he got wall jump, but it wasn't first try. Both runners getting pipe to pipe. No bumps on the overall map, and now Teeks is entering auto scroller land. Nice, human mustard with the duck jump. Let's see if he gets punished in 7-3 here. He's gonna have to get P-Speed. He can't make any losses. I think that's it already. I think, yeah. And that is gonna put him in the negatives. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Why is human mustard so far behind? So there's a couple reasons why human mustard's so far behind. Number one is that Human Mustard is not seated. Human Mustard is not seated against someone in his skill range. Um, and that's because Human Mustard was actually not in the tournament. He dropped out uh, to let somebody else play, which was very nice of him. And then uh, Teeks' natural opponent uh, dropped out of the tournament. So I was down one person, and Human Mustard decided that he would be really nice and join back in for me so that Teeks had someone to go up against. Um, and that was that was way after Human Mustard decided he wasn't going to be in it, so he probably didn't practice the points uh, as much as he would have had he been in the tournament since the start. So he's done two nice things already. He's dropped out to let somebody else play, and that person who played actually advanced to round two, so that was awesome. And now he's back in to give uh, Teeks an, an opponent to generate some points and uh, just to all around be a good guy, so... That, that I think is amazing. So he's done, he's already done amazing things. Uh, but that explains why he's a little low. He's putting on a good show, he's having fun. I hope, I don't think he's worried too much about it. He's picking up points where he can and he's just being an all around amazing guy. Like absolutely amazing. Yeah, what he's done is, is great. So we don't know, so TX has actually made so many points here that we technically don't have to do a race two. Um, but we will, I will ask the runners if they want to do a race two. They definitely don't have to. TX has made, TX has clearly showed that he's generated enough points uh, to sustain him for one game. Um, but if both racers say game two, then I'm cool with game two. If, if Human Mustard doesn't really feel like it, then I think he's earned the right to walk away from a race two. He's already done so much, but I will ask them. We'll probably get a race two. I don't. I don't see us not getting a race two. I mean, who doesn't want to play Mario three? Exactly. I, I understand if, if, if Human Mustard doesn't want to. Naturally, he never had to in the first place. So the fact that Teeks is going to be able to generate these points is is even better. Um, and I, I, I think because Human Mustard is doing something good and it's so late notice, his points shouldn't be used for future seeding uh, just for Human Mustard. I think he'll do a second. Race. He's getting some drop frames here, though. His internet is uh, pooping out a little bit. All right, Teeks, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, Teeks. Oh, hand one. Hand one here. Ooh, missing the missing the hammer shots. Oh, losing hammer suit for Teeks from some random hammer throws that didn't work at the start. 
Man, if he got, if he didn't get unlucky in the first place, he wouldn't be here. Oh! Teeks? What? He's going back in the level! Teeks went back in the hand one. What is happening? I have no idea what just happened there. All right, he made it though, he made it. No, he wasn't, he wasn't pulled into that hand level. He, he went to that hand level and pressed A. Uh, I, he, I feel like he knows that we're gonna be asking him questions about that. Very nice on Human Mustard. I, Human Mustard's internet has been kind of pooping out. I don't know if Human Mustard got any bumps in the overworld map, but because I don't know, I will give him the point and ask him about it later. <gasps> oh, human must have dying on the airship. Very unfortunate. Luckily, he's gonna have to go back. Imagine getting the point dying on the airship, then bumping on the overworld map. Oof, that'd be rough. Human Mustard dicking around there and taking a death on the on the airship. He had a P-Wing. He could have just kept flying. Oh, no. Teeks should be able to get the 89 here. Should be able to get the 89. Oh, he just made it. Uh, Teeks could have equipped his leaf from Hand Trap 1, went into the Air Force, taken damage, and he would have had a mushroom. It would have saved them over 20 seconds, right? So Pe Teeks, <laughs> I almost called them Peaks. Peaks? So Peaks is going to hit the music note. Very nice for Peaks getting the combo point. Brand new runner Peaks. <laughs> yes. All right, Human Mustard getting the Fire Flower. Teeks is going to equip his tail here, and he's gonna get... He's gonna get his Fire Flower. Very nice. Peeks is just unstoppable. If he gets Conveyor P-Speed, he does have 20 points. He does get Conveyor P-Speed! And he's walking away right now with 20 points. Very nice. Unfortunately, Human Mustard's... Uh, internet is being a little poop turd. Bum, bum, bum. We got Peeps versus Puman Pustard. That sounds horrible. Yeah, Human Mustard's playing online Mario Maker with, with the great internet. Pubin Custard. All right, very nice for Teeks. Teeks is not gonna be able to secure the sub 54 though. But he is he is going to be able to get first place, and we and we can we already know that human mustard cannot get sub uh, sub sixty. Oh no, the internet! Yeah, get those nerves out, Teeks. Mash it, mash it, baby! Oh, human mustard going for the fire kill. Wrong way. He does get it though. Sick. Very nice fire kill. Very nice. I, I I love all the runners in this tournament. Everyone's doing such a good job. Man, I really like it.
All right, here we go. Teeks is going to be the first one to finish up here. Ooh, going to go for the clip. Let's quite make it. Yeah, the interesting thing about elevator clip here in Bowser's Castle is it has like a, you have to like, which is weird because I don't, I don't ever remember seeing Zikubi do it much, but you got to press down before you press jump instead of trying to do like a down, down jump at the same time almost. But who knows? Who knows? How many hands did Teeks get? We don't talk about Teeks's hand performance. Very, very nice for Teeks. Teeks with a dot done, finishing up with a 55, 20. 55, 31, almost 30, 55, 30. Very nice for Teeks. Finishing up race one with 20 solid points. GG Teeks, I think you made your point. Get it, get it. Yeah, well, if it wasn't for Human Mustard, Teeks wouldn't have got 20 points. Don't forget about Human Mustard. He's doing an amazing thing for this tournament. Really, he really is. That's why I'm gonna ask, he does not have to do a race two. Um, obviously, it does affect Teeks's points, you know, by not doing two races, it would affect Teeks's points later on. But at the same time, we all have to remember, without Human Mustard even coming in the first place, Teeks would have had to advance with zero points, not even getting any to begin with and putting on a good show. So regardless, whatever happens from here on out, we have Human Mustard to thank. But Teeks also, it doesn't matter who he was facing up against, throwing down a score of 20 for season three is insane. Is insane. That is really good. And yes, we have Human Mustard is going to be finishing up. Beep, beep. Oh no, Human Mustard. I don't know, man. Using the star, using the star in the navy would have been sick. Give us the, give us those dope tunes. Do, 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 do. All right, just letting just letting the Discord know the scoop. All right, how many hands? How many hands for mustard? Let's see, let's see. Oh, hand one, of course. Typical hand one. Oh, maybe you'll get no hands now. Oh, uh, unfortunately, it's not like the speedrun edition. Da 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 da
All right, human mustard gonna go ahead and stop right there. All right, human mustard is going to go for game two. Yes, nice. Let's go. All right, we got a five minute break. Five minute break for our runners. Let's go. Race two coming up, guys. Sick. Dude, I'm down for a race too. I love these tournaments, man. Should we see if we get Haxer up in here? Yo, where's Haxer at? Let's see. Yo. There we go. We just asked Haxer if he wanted to step on, step on by. Haxor, me more like the Nozors. All right, he's taking long to type, so an instant sure means he's, he probably can't. Oh, Haxor is coming in. All right, guys, stretch your legs, grab a drink, go for a stretch. Haxor will join in, then we'll shoot the shit. And uh, we'll be we'll be back in it. Uh, in the meantime, you guys can check out the brackets. My the brackets are slightly outdated. This one is. Let me let me actually add in the new bracket for you guys. Yeah, let me add in the new bracket here. Unable to save image preview. How about you zip it? Yeah, how about you zip it downloading? Huh? There we go. Nice updated for you guys. Take a look at the brackets and uh, we will be right back in just a moment.
Buy some bracket. Wait a second. I can't hear you. Oh, yeah. I was actually talking this whole time to chat to everyone. Oh, OK. I was like, yeah, that's that's a bracket. All right, cool. Did, uh, did human mustard change his layout again here or? Oh, OK, there we go. Nope, it was download. Downloads messed it up. What's going on, Haxer? Dang, man. Uh, not a whole lot, man. Just uh, hanging out, watching watching the race, you know? We gotta change his name to Peaks. Peaks 88 now. Yeah, he's really uh his really disappointing performance, not getting a sub 54 as I predicted previously. So you know yeah. uh, I thought I have to work on that. I thought Teeks could have done a lot better. I mean, did he really do as good? No. <laughs> he did great. They both did great, especially with what human mustard's doing. Uh, I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely good. And he didn't have to do a race too, so he's gonna he's gonna come back, do a little race too. See what these guys have to say. They're dicking around. Ah, uh, here we go. Did you put race one points? He did not put up race one points yet. Not yet, no. But I can. We have runner one with I think it was minus seven, and then teaks. I mean, not sixty nine, so I'm not that impressed. Yeah, I mean, 20, that's that's like an average season two score. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah, for season two. Yeah, that's, yeah. No, that was pretty good. Um, you know, probably feels like he left a lot on the table. But, um, you know, that happens, man. Sometimes you feel like that. I was blown away with his uh, decision to go back into the pipe, though. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of makes sense when you think about it, but he must have he either messed up his manipulation or, as you mentioned, he jumped late. So, um, which it is looked a, a little late. Yeah, it's weird because you, you honestly, you you almost want to jump earlier there than later. Yeah, there's like there's like the little oh, hold on, these runners are ready. Are you guys ready? Is everyone here ready? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. I'm not ready. Wait, wait, I'm not there yet. I'm on mobile. I got to get on the bus. I'm Pepe arrive. Nice. <laughs> Everyone in chat type people arrive. So I know you guys are here. If you guys, if you all don't write people arrive, I won't know that you're here. I'll be lost forever. Oh, no, you don't, Scarface. I see the people leave. Don't worry. All you writing people leave, I'm grabbing your asses and bringing you back right yeah. now. Yeah, pulling you back in by your ass. Who is Mitch? Who is Axer? Well, Mystery. No, nah, I, I wouldn't do that because, it's like, you know, that, that would be improper. That oh, would yeah. be improper. Well, you can't be grabbing people's ass randomly. It's no good. No, it's, yeah. Unless they want that. That, that is true. You know, maybe maybe they all want that. I don't know. But but you know, I'd have to ask them first. The old the old school saying, I don't want to have to tell you to kiss me. It's like, well, I can't just kiss you on my own now. Get in trouble for that. <laughs> it's bad news. You're gonna have to start That's telling right. us. <laughs> Consent is good, man. It's good. That's right. All right. So it looks like they're ready. Okay. On go from three. Let's get this going. Three. Two, one, go. Woo! Oh no, I put GFO by accident. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, All right, three, I, two, I one, get the fuck out. <laughs> All yeah. right, Peaks coming in guess, hot here. I guess Mustard doesn't understand your message. Uh, he said he was ready. All right. Well, we can do some, you know, some quick pause action, I'm sure. Some quick maths. Eh, yeah, he's okay. behind by 10 seconds. It'll be fine. It should be okay. <laughs> hey, he said he was... Hey, Twitch chat didn't mess up their timers. They were ready. But it's okay. It's not It's not hugely against um, human mustard in this scenario, right? We're, we're more so after 
trying to get Teeks his official points while Human because Human Mustard's points for these two races are not going to be used against them in future seasons if we start doing points uh, seeds because technically he shouldn't even be here kind of thing, right? So Yeah, yeah. So it's good stuff. Hmm. Well, What's up? point seeds will be good for, for Teeks now that he's, uh, you know, been able to generate some of those points that he didn't get to last year, so. That's good. right. <laughs> That's right. So Teeks says, um, Teeks made it into the finals for season one, right? But season two, he got knocked out early, right? Yeah, because he I... had a tough matchup. And yeah, I mean, you know, it was before people figured out routing and uh, all that stuff, so. Tough, oh. tough first round matchup to go against uh, the guy who ended up getting fourth, so. All right, getting this. Yeah, he, he was up against uh, the person who made it to fourth place, right? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. See, now this season is that we, we have the proper seating so everyone has uh, a fair match, but the names are split around. So a lot of the good players won't see each other later. But who are good players? What, people with 51s? I don't know, because some people... In the tournament, don't have 51s, 52s, 53s, and they're putting up a lot of points, getting 58 minute times, getting under the 60, getting a lot of points. So, who's to say what's good yet? Yeah, that's true. Especially with me sitting out, you know, I had to give had to give everybody a chance. I do. Uh... <laughs> Zikabi did the same thing, right? Zikabi did the same thing. He's sitting out. He's uh, Maiba's not in this one either, right? We got those couple heavy hitters who do, who were unable to make season three, which. I don't, I don't think that's a big deal because we have season three heavy hitters. That's right. You see how many points the Bagler threw up there? That's a lot of points. A whole bag of points. Mm-hmm. Alice was also doing a really good job. Just unfortunately, the uh, the jitters, right? The nerves. The nerves yeah, get it's, you. Uh, it's true. Gotta gotta be able to to right the ship when things start going wrong. Right on. Human Mustard getting the leaf there in the Mushroom House. You see that? That was some good stuff. It's a point. Hey, you gotta remember like to, to use uh... it. Did you see, um, I think it was yesterday's race. Who was it? Somebody accidentally used the leaf before the level. Ooh. Yeah. A little loss. Gotta be a little careful with your menuing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right. Are you excited for the weekend? Very, the weekend's coming up. Level here. Of course, of course. Always excited for the weekend. Always <laughs> excited for the weekend. We we've got Don't two races the... tomorrow. Don't... That's not so bad. Yeah, you don't. What you don't have like four in one day again? Oh, I'd be calling you right away if I did. <laughs> no no tunnel from either runner. Uh, I don't think Teeks got leaf in the mushroom house, did he? I know human mustard did. Did they get throne jumps? Uh, I don't know. We were, we were too busy. Oh, Peaks, Peaks 88 got the flower. Okay, yeah. So human mustard is the only one with the point, and throne jumps, we don't know. Haxor and I were too much. Too much yelling at each other. Too much chat between <laughs> He's my boy, you know? Yeah. We have so much to talk about. Yeah, like this 2-1 uh, here that uh, he did He did a, a wall rub there. That's unfortunate. You don't like to see that in your speed run. So it's really going to be slowing him down here. That's right, Rub. Really, but... Uh... Rubbing the purple walls, man. <laughs> oh, human must have rubbing Ooh. the wall and falling. That's exactly what we were talking about. So Teeks did get the mm. throne jump, so we got one throne jump for him, and he's going to get his 10 bucks right there. Yeah, it's interesting. He doesn't seem uh, uh, interested in losing, you know, a couple seconds to get another star, which, um, as we saw, I think might come in handy for him in 7-8, so I wonder if that's something he might uh, Change. modify in yeah. future races. Yeah. Yeah, seven eight. He went into his inventory check for a star. It didn't have it, mm -hmm. so he was down. He was down yep. that star there. And well, we've also seen other racers who spend a little bit too much time in the spade card game as well, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a little too yep. much time. Yeah, to be able to just uh, identify what you have. 
mm -hmm. in terms of pattern and then exactly. just you know get in what get what you need and get out so honestly i think uh doing the like figure out which spade card game it is that's fine and then when you do figure it out and get the 10 mm -hmm. bucks just go for the fire flowers maybe the extra stars and get out of there yeah. yeah the one up's useless the 20 bucks is useless and then the mushrooms yep. are probably useless but it depends on how runners are routing it, right? If runners are expecting to take damage in certain spots, then the mushrooms, mushrooms, great. Yeah, if you're someone that you're you're worried about deaths, I think it's probably useful to pick up some of those extra extra power ups since you're already in there, not really losing much. Yeah, Teak's getting first backwards, bro. Human mustard also getting first backwards, bro. And on. Neither runner has lost her fire flower in world two Teaks. He's gonna be the first one to go for E Speed. Red Rocket. Alright. The The Lasso and Stewie Cartman special. Yep. Oh, oh, Teeks! Turn back. Oh! Yep, that's not a rocket. If oh! you're going with P Speed and Mustard. Not really a rocket, but he did have P Speed, so I'm gonna count it. He did get you it, know, that's it right. A slower rocket. A little, little less, a uh, little less rocket fuel on yeah, that. Yeah, that was the, that was the yeah. test we were testing. Yeah. And they both have backwards moving boomer, or er, yeah, boomerang bros. So this is uh, interesting because human mustard is actually kind of in the lead right here in terms of points because he has the leaf in his inventory. Um, That's true. And he could still get the 10 bucks from the spade game. He did try it in World 7. Okay. Probably didn't look too much into into the cards. Dude, right. Come on, he's a he's a card playing expert. He does it all the time in randomizer, you know? I think Teeks is making the right play here. I, I really, really dislike 2-4 um, in the points tournament because it's just so shaky and it's just so awkward. And in this instance, like you don't want to take damage and that's easy to do in 2-4. Wrong, one wrong side jump, and you, uh, yes, yeah, it's a good move. He was in favor of doing 2 4, but decided, yeah, to not go for it. Yep, yeah, it's gonna lose him a moment. Uh, well, it might be okay at the fire pattern, especially if that hammer bro moves down. I actually, mm -hmm. it'll actually be more favorable than if the, you know, bro moved the other way. But yeah, Mustard taking some damage there, and uh, so he's gonna be missing out on the uh, points there. Yeah, the world three point. Um, I'd have to say Teeks is one of the one of the the best uh, fire kill players that Mario three has to offer. He really took it serious there for a while. There, he came up with manipulations for world five. Right, he knows his world twos. He's got mm -hmm. a lot of saves. He's really really good with the fire kills. So I, I don't have any worries with him when it comes to like odd movements here. I mean, he might mess it up here. This is a very weird spot. Yeah, and the question is, you know, if he gets there fast enough to, he can get a 100% pattern. Um, but um, if he if he's a little too slow getting to the castle, he's gonna get the pattern where the the uh, boss jumps. So. Oh, and he he put oh he doesn't need the hammer, brother. Using the hammer here to get the frog suit to meme as hard as he can meme. Yes. Um, I wonder why he got it here. He's guaranteed a frog suit in the mushroom house after a three two. <laughs> he probably doesn't know that. But shouldn't he? He's the frog suit master. He knows everything with the frog suit, right? I mean, you normally don't have to pick up a frog suit in the frog percent <laughs> category. You just get that, it. That is so. true. You're right. You're right about that. You're just always yeah. a frog yep. suit. And uh, he probably doesn't know the mushroom houses because they're always randomized and randomizers. So he's like, ah, I don't know what they give me. Who yeah, goes I don't know mushroom mushroom. yeah, who goes the mushroom house? Yeah, who goes the mushroom? He would say, what, am, what do you think I am, a noob? <laughs> what do you think I am, a noob? We all start off as noobs. Never forget that. It's true. And just like we thought, yeah, yeah, he was knew... fast enough. Yeah, he knew his fire kill. Yeah, that's the, uh, the the Giga the Giga special pattern right there. You know the one. 100% non bump strat, non buffer strat. Yeah, the one he takes damage for. And uh, two know, four, right? Yeah. 
All right, Human Buster not too far behind, and uh, we're about to experience our first. They both got the backwards movement, bro, so it's still 6-6. Six, six. As long as Peaks can take damage here, uh, he should be pretty good. So uh, too many sixes, it's making me a little uncomfortable. Oh, taking some damage there. Getting the, the 90 degree angle one shot <laughs> special coming out from Morton. <laughs> Just incredible master of geometry. Uh, I would rather, I I have no interest in playing in these tournaments because I host them. If somebody else cre created it and I had nothing to do with it at all, I would be joining every season. It's silly, but because I create them, I enjoy making them. Teeks did not get the frame jump, so this is an opportunity for Human Mustard to get it. Um, and this is a this is a trick where it's just like it just happens if it does, right? I mean, you could mash it and probably get it. Let's see if he does get it. Oh, and he doesn't. It's a good opportunity for him to get that too, point. Too girthy there to get the three two B speed. <laughs> Gonna have to. Uh... Do some particular jumps there to ensure those fish cooperate. They don't call them peaks for nothing, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hope he just doesn't peeks at his opponent's screen because you know that's illegal. Yeah, you better not be peeking peaks. We have to, yeah, start calling them peeking peaks. Right on. Teeks is awesome. Human Mustard, also amazing. Not going to go for the fast P-Speed. He doesn't want to get his Fire Flower here. No runaway from each player yet, either. Oh, I'm kidding. Oh, man. That Bass was coming. Oh. He, he, the Bass was saying, I don't usually have much opportunity to devour this runner, but I'm going to yeah. try to take my opportunity here. So. Yeah, both runners struggling a little bit from the fish here. Teeks, kind of... Out, yeah, he's definitely out of runaway range, right? I mean... Uh, yeah, he is, actually. He's gonna go for Dwarf War, uses Metronome Trick. Worked the first time. He gets it the second time. He's got that strat down. Like I said before, though, using it like that in an actual run would have actually lost him time there, so. Yeah. Uh, in the points tournament, that worked out great, but if he's gonna be using that in his official runs, gonna have to be a little bit crispier. Not getting yeah, runaway. There must be a particular music note he waits for. No, no, he's got an actual metronome that's specific beats. Oh. Yeah, there's an exact amount of beats per minute where if you press up, you hmm. press up again. So you can use a metronome. Interesting. Can't, I can't remember what it is, guys. Somebody, somebody in chat will remember. It's like it's like 129 or something exactly. I think you said it was like 140 something. Was One, it like 144. 140, 140 yeah, yeah, something like that. Something like that. 72 yeah, beats per minute, a, there you go. Doing a one, bit different one, routing one. this time. He did uh, opt to Music Box, the Hammer Bros. I think I like this routing better than the one he did in the previous race, for sure. Um, but he must maybe he didn't have a Music Box in the previous race. I'm not really sure. No, I feel like he did, because he had one forward and one backwards. I feel like he did. Oh, yeah, he had an, he had an extra one at the end of the game, too, so... Hmm. Mustard doing the same thing as last time, not really taking, not worrying too much about the uh, certain points. He might even forget about some of them, right? Like, it's very possible he hasn't looked at the points page or the, the sheet in weeks since when he decided to opt out, right? Right, right. Well, the trick is naturally door three in the speedruns, but that's what makes this interesting. You can do the trick on door three or door four. And for the sake of tournament, I mean, might as well go for the door four, right? Um, so Peaks not getting runaway. Human Mustard did not get runaway, bro, either. He was right there, though. Uh, Human Mustard had an opportunity for runaway, bro. Um, but unfortunately, he's not going to be able to secure uh, any points in World 3, Have sadly. Have we even gotten a runaway, bro? I haven't seen one yet. What, today or in general? At all. Uh, we've had one, uh, two runaways. Two runaway bros all season so far. <laughs> uh, Teeks has not taken damage, but Human Mustard sadly has. It's Teeks three for three on the throne jumps. Can we get a can we get a mod confirming that? A three for three throne jumps for 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 Peaks. Uh, Peaks is not taking damage now. 
three throw now. Uh, yeah. Oh. He's three for three. That's him. That's big. All right, moving on to world four. Ah, oh, human mustard. So close. That's like the biggest thing that causes H to not work is touching that music note. And I don't understand why the music note takes your height. Like it doesn't. It's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, it, uh, I, I guess I. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder why that is too. Actually, you only get one type of jump off of them as well. It doesn't matter how long you hold A. Mm -hmm. Well, you could either neutral or yeah, hold A. Yeah. It, it, I don't know. It just reminds me of six three. You have to use both of them to make the height. It's mm -hmm. what? It's, I don't even get that. Yeah, I don't know why that works. It doesn't even really make sense to me. Apparently, when you touch two at the same time, you get extra height. <laughs> I guess so. All right, world four. Peaks is entering world four, and human mustard not quite getting the throne jumps. At least I don't think so. so we'll see how this goes. Oh, it takes damage, but Ooh. he is able to secure the bottom route. Very nice. Was just not barely. expected. Yeah, just he was barely made it there. He was not expected to take that damage. <clears throat> so he's he's got to be practice uh, for this, right? I mean, he he knows what he wants to do. He's got to assume, you know, four one doesn't work. He knows. Sure. Yeah, Teeks is on three throne jumps. It's crazy. Mm, no double block grab. Gonna have to do turn back here. Mm hmm. Human Mustard forever stuck on the black screen. Okay, he made it. Oh, he took damage there. Ooh. He's gonna have to go for the more stomps. He's good, he's good. Fighting the boss that's got more rings than Tom Brady. And that movement of four, not a marathon. Peaks got the marathon last run too. It was either Human Mustard or Teeks, I can't remember. Very nice, 4-3. Four, 4-3 three. Four, three with the... Uh, or 4-3, you know, just the... Uh, very, very simple level. I press right and I jump. Yeah, there's, so, there's, there's one tough duck jump. That's about it. Oh, yeah. Yep, doing the fort this time around. So we get to check it out. Starless. We don't have the extra star inventory, so... Very impressive. Now, I thought Human Mustard did do P-Speed strategies in his normal speedruns for Warpless. But he hasn't- he didn't do P-Speed- he didn't try and go for P-Speed in 4-1 for either one. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I know that P-Speed is tough for most people, but... Yeah, I thought maybe he did Shell Grab for his speedruns, because he, like, he, he runs Warpless a lot. So I was just a little confused. Maybe- yeah, maybe, I'm probably just a little confused. And what he does versus what he chooses to do in the points tournament. Big difference there. Yeah, I know he likes to take damage in this level. So damage boost there when he does that fire. Interesting. Even mustard with the amazing coin count there. I love to see it. <laughs> it's always a welcome sight. Teeks is Ooh, gated. Does he know Wrong his hammer, hammer, brother. Rose. Wrong oh, hammer, man. brother. He, he doesn't. He doesn't know, guys. He didn't know. That That's, that situation I mean, was particularly easier for him to know because the cloud and yeah, the P wing yeah. move the same. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and that That's was right. the odd man out. Too much research in the fire kills. Not enough in the throws. <laughs> yeah. Too much. Too much spade game research. He didn't get all the duck jumps there, did he? Uh, I thought he did. Interestingly enough, Mustard actually needs a power-up to go for the duck jump point, so... Mm -hmm. He needs to probably not... Oh, he's go gonna use a P-Wing. He's gonna use a P-Wing. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's, he's gonna use the, uh... He did that last race, but he, he forgot to jump, duck jump on his first jump. 
And that's that's Oh really? Yeah, that hurts. Oh wow. Yeah, the first jump. Yeah. Cause like he was ready to just duck jump fly, but he jumped over the turtle first, then duck jump flow. Unfortunate. Teek's finishing up the fortress. And he's not gonna get a marathon. I think he got a marathon last time, but not this time. Hey, right, moving on to world of four. Uh, human Muster giving us something to watch while Peaks is on the auto-scroller. Teeks did get the duck jumps. Yep, I marked it down. There they are right there. Teeks had a marathon, but in World 6. I, well, I mean, last race, <laughs> he did. No throne jump! Teeks, you had it, man! You blew it all for your fire patterns. Too much fire pattern studying. No, no throne jumps. <laughs> all right, so human muscle. I think he's just gonna go all out and fight. Fight it all, man. Oh, well, he already it's got the, the inventory star. star from World Three. Okay. Oh, he's gonna go for star this time. Okay, change it up. A little bit of buffer. Ooh. I think gets, he even for it. Yeah, gets stuck in midair there. That was a good trick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did it despawn? It that did despawn. Gone. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh! Damn! Pit of Doom. It's a rough one. Moving on to World 5. <laughs> it's got I the still think... jumps too, though. Yeah, dude, I still think the crouching Mario looks so silly in the Mario Maker. Like, the small Mario crouch jumps is hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh. It's out of there. Right at the end of uh, a giant ship here. So big, so massive. So slow though. Just in um, time. No, just, he, just slow. He he didn't get the wall jump off the pipe there. You can't really wall jump in that kind of scenario. It's just he just jumped at the pixel, the corner pixel. That's all. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's kind of the same as a wall jump, but not not exactly. <laughs> You missed the first race? Uh, let, let us go back. We'll go back to the VOD. <laughs> Just for you. Uh, yeah, there's a whole there's a whole big thing about why Human Mustard is behind by so much and why he's improperly seated for his first race. It's a big thing, but what he's doing right now is helping out Teeks. Teeks' opponent dropped out, so Human Mustard kind of stepped in. So Human Mustard didn't really practice or play, but he is giving Teeks an opportunity to collect some points for future seasons and stuff. Essentially, he's doing a good deed here. That is it. Uh, I can't remember who T... Oh, no, it was Haxer, that's right. I always forget. Yeah, it was Haxer. <laughs> I don't really think about, about that thing. I mean, some people drop, some people stay. I mean, I, it's... People do what, what they gotta do, right? It's no big deal. What a pal! Okay, Teek's gonna go for the 82. Man, he's going up against the Glaxor. I don't know what a Glaxor is. That that block grab is scary. I feel like if you get lagged out from that grab, you just take non nonsensical damage. Oh, oh my God, he almost got the 281. There you go, it's the 282, and there it is. Yeah, I. It's interesting. People seem to want to start on the hill on that. I wonder if that is faster. I honestly like the the, the double one. flutter and then the damage boost. I like yeah. that one a lot. Peaks versus the Glaxor. That's right. Bowser using time stop on humor mustard right now. <laughs> Got him. 
That's that's why I, I was trying to make an interesting point with the Shaft of Shame, right? I mean, we gotta add some interesting things, alternate ways of doing things. Ooh, that's bump of the Overworld map. Good thing this isn't season two. <laughs> I have to step off just for a quick second while we'll that Haxer take over for a minute. Mr. Haxer, right, so, uh, why is that there? Um, because it's the way they designed it, son. Um, so yeah, Teek's uh, making his way through the tower here. Meanwhile, um, Mustard finished up that airship that no one watched, probably because it's boring. Um. Yeah, Merc in his way to the uh, the upper section of the world here. Gonna see if he can do the nice Superman jump here. Pick himself up another point. And he looks good here. So, it's another point, guys. It's another point. Um, so yeah, he'll have a, a second opportunity for a point here in the upper section. Back-to-back -back points in 5-5, five, five, potentially. Now, Mustard could get the early P-Speed as well and uh, spoil this, so... But, uh, looks good. Yeah, it's gonna get that shared point potentially as well. So, gonna probably pick up the leaf. Yep, sure enough, he'll use it to damage boost in the next level. re get his fire, which he will want to keep until the end of the world if he wants that point. So, in reality, you kind of get, like, four opportunities of points here in World 5 in the top section, getting another movement of four. So, at minimum, that's two that we've uh, we've seen, right? Because the bro can only get back there through a movement of four. That's right. Um, so he needs that next movement of four here. And he could get it right after this level. Human Mustard had the tens flipped over, but he, he was unable to get it. Did he get early P-Speed in 5-5? Five five? He did. Uh, but he does not get the movement of four, so um, unless he had one in the bottom section of the world, um, unfortunately only two there. So still Very only close. two. But I think he did music box the bros, so technically they could give him a movement of four still. Mm -hmm. They do a particular switch, so it's kind of hoping, hoping for that. Yeah, he wants to keep this fire, get his uh, free World 5 point by not losing flower. He did not lose his flower. No, the movement of one, they are not close to it. Rip. Rip that last movement for so close, too. Yep. Yep. You need at least a movement of two there. Have a shot. Yeah, very, very nicely done in the upper section of the world here in terms of gameplay, so make his way to the airship and uh, hope to pick up his next point here. Meanwhile, Mustard is battling Boom Boom. Gave him the, the three bops, and he's out. Does get the throne jump. Unfortunately, he, uh, he did miss the other one, which we, uh, you know, we didn't miss, so... So Mustard's still searching for the 10 bucks. So he's gonna get another another chance here to, to search some more squares. Suspense is killing me. I know, I need to know. See, so remember where the star is. No. Alright. <laughs> Bowser's still using time stop on him. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, he's on Namek right now and uh, fighting Goldo, so. <laughs> rough, rough going. Makes it really tough uh, for him to beat Teeks on time. <laughs> next, yeah, next slide, please. Yeah, gets uh, the movement of one kill there, no problem. Gets his point for the fire keep. Well, he just doesn't and lose And moves point. on the world six. Oh yeah, that's right. Punishment. 
Oof. Those pile drivers, man, they can be really lame sometimes. You know, the thing is with mustard, you can't really lose fire if you never have it. That's right. That's so. a good, good thing. I don't think you'll have too much issue with that one. High or low for Peaks 88? Let's see what he gets. Uh, the answer to that question is yes. Peaks is getting high! Peaks is getting the high pattern. Very nice. Standard pattern. Doesn't uh, want to check out the ragu there. Very nice. It's nope, a nice little tip easy. there. He's uh, he should be fine. But. We just gave uh, Peaks his point for early P speed in five five. Human Mustard did not get it. Yeah, picking up uh, picking up another point. And uh, unfortunately, that's not a movement of four. It's oh. only a movement of three. Still, he's still not getting movements of four. Oh, oh man. Yeah, it's not the uh, level you want to have double stars in. That was an awkward turn back. Mm hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Back to uh, pick up his hammer bro sliding around. That is the low pattern, though, so he is, is getting correct. that point. But, but he is not getting the inventory star point because that is the star. So. Ooh. Yeah, he's not going to get that. That's right. Yeah, a little bit of uh, unfortunate RNG yeah. there. We Well, we've seen other runners decide that they're just going to go for... The, yeah, he's got two music boxes. Oh, he could have. He could have. Oh, Even if he had one, he could have taken the time loss for the World 7, yeah. right? That'd be worth it. That's what it is. Yeah, because he could have... Uh, could have guaranteed he only fought the cloud there by splitting him using the level, so... Oh, did he already fight the Starbro in World 4? I don't... I don't think Peaks oh, did. did. I... That's right. No, he did. Yeah. So oh, that's right. He did. We were talking about that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. But, nice. I mean, he might as well have music box there anyway. Would have saved a little Save bit time. time. Yeah, that time, if anything. All right, he'll must have to go for... He had to go back. But... Card clear. So he finds the one up in the 20. There's the 10. But he doesn't find the other 10. He did lose his Fire Flower, though, so he's going to have to take that, take that loss there. Yep. Having a little trouble finding the 10s there um, in the game. So. Yeah, and unfortunately, the 10 that he did flip over was the 10 that he had already flipped over. All right, Teeks, is he, I want to see if he does, no, he did a turn back there, so he already can't do this in-level manipulation. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the little slip up. Oh, this is scary. Nice, you get the double hit. You're gonna grab another one. I really, really want to see the pipe strategy work here. Ah, I'm, the subpixel manipulation on a hill, that's so weird. <laughs> it's like mm. in the pipe transition, going back for it. He gave it away. Everyone who's in the tournament, write this down. This is definitely something. He's moving. He, yeah, there it is. He got the move. Very nice. We don't know how hard he pressed, but odds like... are he didn't go over five there. There's no way, right? <sighs> he jumped low there? What? what? That was that was an awkward jump. I don't know yeah. what kind of jump that was. It was weird. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly uh, what he's looking for there, but uh, has been unable to find it so far. Well, didn't the jump seem a little low to you? It did, but who knows? Maybe he accidentally uh, let go of A there? I don't know. But he does get a second try, so that's good, and he's going to go for the clip here. Oh, that was very close. It must have been the fire kill. Very nice. Mm, 
Mustard Seed. He's got Red Rocket. He got the RNG points. He did lose his Fire Flower. Uh, he hasn't died yet, which is very nice. Um, Teeks also has not died yet, right? I don't think so. That's correct. Well, no, Mustard has died, actually. Oh, he mustard died once. Died That's right. Place. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Okay, died in the pit, the pit of doom. So now he's in world six. Start him off with high or low pattern right now. He's going to get frozen pattern. I can't tell yet. That's gotta be low, right? If there's no broken block on the top. Okay, so he started with low pattern. Um, and he does have the leaf from world one, remember. Another marathon. Yes. I don't have to remember. He has to remember. That's right, he has to remember. Oh, too bad this isn't season two. A little too late there, Peaks. Yep, that clip, uh, nice, nice set of points on that clip. He has, Teeks has less points than he did last race, right? At this point? Yeah, because he had Leaf. Definitely, definitely. He had Leaf and he got the no star point. That's right. All right, I'm gonna go for the guaranteed 15 pixel. Wait for his wand. Guaranteed subpixel 15 right here. Now, as long as he doesn't mess up his actual movement, which is what happened last time, he should be in the clear. Human Mustard getting high pattern. There you go, high and low for him. Very nice. Oof. Three points, but uh, does have to fight the uh, star here, which he already had fought one in World 3, so not a big deal. Yeah. Or well, he actually, you didn't get the star. I guess that was the star. <laughs> I guess the other one was the star. <laughs> so never mind, that was all according to plan. He wanted that to happen. No. So, oddly enough, like, Teeks is the reason why his 7 ones didn't work first try. It wasn't RNG and it wasn't subpixel manipulation. That is a you hate to see a moment. He is, I can see him going to be practicing the jump probably within the next few days. It's, uh, it's why subpixel, man. It's killing him. He's getting wrecked here. Not quite. Uh, Tease has always had a bad relationship with 7 1. Oof. For anyone wondering, yes, if the first thing he did was enter 7 1, he would be done the level by now. That is the that is the punish. Oh yeah, that's right. Doesn't have the hammer. Forgot. Oh wait, he did use the hammer. Okay, the three frames oh, per second man. tricked me. He is he is having a time, a time not of his life. That's for sure. Am I the only person who would be screaming in my little office right now? Like get in there! I'd be I'd be yelling like because it's muted, right? I didn't have to hold back. No, no <laughs> mic active, so I could just. <laughs> St stomp and yeah there we go <laughs> honestly you know i had 41 try 7 1 before that is pretty close to that honestly yeah. well I, that I, was that's a that's gotta be really close a 207 207 yeah. in the wall there i don't think it's quite 41 try but it's pretty dang close Oh, I'm sorry. I just missed it. Did Human Mustard remember to use his leaf in this level? We were we were blown away by Teeks's. Oh, going for fast seven two. Very nice. Did Human Mustard remember to use his leaf in three eight or six eight? I feel like he didn't. Human Mustard going for first try wall jump. He didn't I remember guess, uh, to use it. Unfortunate. He's realizing in the first race that uh, he didn't uh, have have a star for six or seven eight. So, I guess the sign to go for fast seven two. Honestly, so. oh, P 
peaks. Or maybe he was just kind of mauled about seven one. That's, That's what I was do. saying. He was he was like, you know what? That's it. No, I, Getting I punished there on Teeks' well. side. Teeks is gonna lose a point now for that. Unfortunate. Oh no. Oh no, and he accidentally used the star there. And now he's gonna somersault. He's oh. gonna. <laughs> oh no. He's gonna have to wait. Oh man. Peak's falling apart here in World 7, not going his way. The best thing about his World 7 is Fast 7 2, which is incredibly Se difficult. 7 1. 7 1 putting a man on tilt. Never before seen in the game. We're gonna have to change his name back to Teeks. Peaks doesn't make these mistakes. All right, so I think he gets the 83s. He's gonna get his point back. Yes, he is. No, you can enter up pipes with a star. You can't enter pipes while somersaulting. He's got no bumps. Is he gonna clip? I think he jumped a frame Oof. late. Yeah, he definitely did. It's definitely a late jump. I counted all the frames. Nice, and he does get it. Twisty Castle's not a level. We all we all have to come together and figure out a way to skip the tw Twisty Castle. You can skip it in 100% if you'd like. It's true. But you can't. Da -da -da. So he's gonna go for him. Oh no, that is exactly. Oh, that's so. 7 8 is tough. Should be able to damage boost though. Ooh. In situations like that, it's always interesting to see runners spend more time not taking damage than if they would have just taken the damage and gone. But in Teeks' situation, yeah. I don't blame him. He's over gaps and holes. He doesn't want to doesn't want to die and stuff. Well, part of the problem, too, is that, um, you know, sometimes you run out of iframes when you jump through things. <laughs> That's right, the iframes. Yeah. Uh, round one seeds are based off of um, any percent warpless times. I could, if I really wanted to, I could do round two based off of uh, total points in the first race. Very nice on Teeks' side. That's it. That's what he wanted in race one and was unable to get it there. It, uh, he did get it, so... Human Mustard first try! 7-1! He just saved, like, two minutes. Very nice. Saved two minutes on, yeah, on I mean, Peaks. I wouldn't say two minutes, but definitely, like, 70 seconds, probably. <laughs> right on, and uh, Peaks not getting first try clip, but he does get no bumps. Very nice. All right, Human Mustard also making his way through World 7. Do, 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 do. All right, we are now entering Auto Scroller Land. I will be back in just a second. Makes it through 7-2 here. Oh boy, that jump is scary. Did he die? I can't tell. He did die, thought so. It's unfortunate. Jumped into an area with a lot of enemies. Unfortunately, he got the piranha plant spawn as well, so. That result is a death, unfortunately. sure uh, if Mustard's going to make it out at 293 here. It's looking like no. Nope. I think if he would have jumped to the card earlier, he might have gotten it, because it looked like he was under the card by the time he jumped up there. So, just missing out. It is going to get punished. Lose a point there.
but he has a couple opportunities to make it up. One being this level. Looking good so far. I think he's good. Oh, ooh, it's tough. Not getting that instant pipe entry. It's going to be close. That was a good stomp, though. Oh, unfortunate. It's the pipe entry. Just missing out on that point. And unfortunately, not taking damage either. So, is going for the frog clip, which is easier. So you see that acceleration getting up to that speed real quick, so... If you know how to do it, of course. But yeah. Having some trouble here. Getting it. There we go. It's a little tough to hit the particular spot on the wall. Your, uh, your frog suit's not the most... Uh, responsive. Dude, I was missing some juicy action. I came back and he was in the frog suit. Hey, frog clip 7-6. Damn. Did, it, uh, did he get P-Wing 183? Nope. And he lost the point in 7-3, so... Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, get that hammer suit. Try to keep it this time. Oh, unfortunate. There's your favorite nipper, where if you hit the block, he falls down through and he doesn't die. <laughs> Very nice design. Nice, Teak's just doing his auto scroller land, huh? How does his airship go? Just pretty normal, pretty casual. It's an airship, you yeah. know. Same old. It scrolls. You scroll with it. <laughs> Human mustard just taking a look at what's up there. Didn't didn't like what he saw. He's back down. <laughs> Picking up his star reward from uh, Boomerang Bro. Mustard clouding over the fortress in World 7, making his way to the airship. Not looking like he has time to finish, unfortunately, in the hour, but. I don't think so, considering this is. And then he'd have, what, like nine minutes for. Um, it'd be a little yeah. hard. Um, for sure, second Good, place, but... though, I, I can't. I don't know. I can't. He, he'll he'll be in World Eight. Wait, did he just die? No. Okay. Oh, he's flying. Okay. 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 Right. Cause yeah. He, some extra P wings. So. Yeah. I mean, he'll be in Long World easy. Eight at the fifty-one minute mark, right? So that or fifty-one. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be just under fifty-one minutes. He will make it. Nice peaks going for the... That's so risky because there's bullets everywhere. If you don't get that, if you don't get that moonwalk thing... Oof, so scary. Alright, how many hands for peaks? How many hands for... Oh. Here we go. Peaks. No hands, man. No hands. Of course. And one got him last time, too. Yeah, he uh, had, had some trouble with this one last time, so probably didn't want to see it again. Instead, we uh, he gets to play it three times today. <laughs> one was his choice, though. Ooh. I feel, I'm feeling in all three hands. Oops, all hands. Yeah, looking pretty nice here between 7-1 and uh, the hands. Oh! 
Oh man, that's oh, I hate that. In any situation, you know, getting all hands. Do, yeah. Do you hate that? I. It doesn't sound like you hate it that much. I hate it, man. No it's matter not you. what. It's not you. <laughs> well, yeah, when it's not me, I'm in. I'm happy about that. That's for sure. Sucker, enjoy <laughs> your hands. But. So yeah, he got an entire round of applause from the game for his performance. There you go. And they're all right hands too, aren't they? They are. Damn hands. Nice. Human mustard coming in hot. Tank one. Peaks only has a couple minutes left. What are you giggling about over there? Hmm? I thought I heard you giggling. I, I yawned, I think. Hacks are with the giggles. Right on. Dude, Eamon must have did great. Letting, letting Teeks get the points here. Um, unfortunately, uh, Feropen's not going to have that opportunity, though. Because he was already uh, advanced by Fell. Uh, Fell had just gone in automatically and just put in the 0-0. Zero, zero and uh, gave him the advance. And Peaks is probably going to use a star here. Oof, I swear he almost used the Warp Whistle there. That would be one way to lose the race. So, in time, anyway. Yeah, in time, yeah. I think yeah. he's still good in points. But... He'd be able to restart World 8, which is kind of funny. They'd both be in a, the tank at the Maybe. same time. Maybe he uh, would get no hands, huh? Last year, I can't remember exactly what happened because Calico actually dropped out last year an hour before his race, I think it was. I can't I can't remember exactly. Gets all the snipes there, up the hill. Jumping off the block to victory. Throwing some victory hammers. Getting his points. Nice, is that star? Good use of inventory direction. Did he? He just got the combo points, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the somersault looks so cool with the hammer suit. It mm -hmm. doesn't get conveyor piece speed. Jump for too far. That's right. Too Hacks far. her nose. Too thick. Too thick. Way too thick, man. Less thick on the jump, you know. Yeah, and the way this game works, I can see human muster getting no hands here when it absolutely doesn't matter at all. Sounds like the hands. Why not? Oh, you were looking to you were looking to PB. Sorry, getting grabbed. Oh, your PB's lost. Here you go. That's why you just expect to get grabbed by hand <laughs> and adjust. Sub-54 is dead. I think that was safe after 7-1, but uh, it was really <laughs> safe after three hands as well, so. Right, that's so weird. If 7-1 would have worked and he would have got at least maybe one less hand, he might have been able to get it. Yeah, it was a lot of time. Nice. He lost, unfortunately. Now it's Human Mustard's turn to cross the hands. Unfortunately, his internet has been such a jerk to him this whole race. With the buffer, they're throttling him. He's not paying them enough. They want more. Oh, and one garbage. No. It doesn't matter how much you pay him. You're already paying him. They don't really care. They're like, yeah. eh, eh. We'll fix it eventually. We'll send a guy out sometime between now and the end of the month. At any time between now and the end of the month. So. But hey, do you want to buy this $50 insurance that makes it so you don't have to pay if we determine it's not a problem on our end? Depends. Are you going to charge me extra for television that nobody uses anymore? <laughs> can you take the TV box back, please? I don't use it. All right. No, no. We have this new thing called radio. We're offering radio now. <laughs> you want some radio? <laughs> Radio, internet, TV bundle, if you'd like. Ooh. 
See, that's why you gotta join Team Second Stare, guys. Damn it. If you was Team Second Stare, you wouldn't hit that ceiling. Getting statued and, uh, right there. Boy, I wish, uh, you know, I would have had that happen and then, you know, bounce forward last year. That would have been great. But last yeah. season. Yeah, let's not forget about Ibuba's flip into the donut block survival strats. <laughs> Never forget those. Those are some good strats. That is crazy. Oh. Peaks with the 56 37. Very nice. 56 37. He doesn't get conveyor P speed. First place. Made it to 60. Very nice. 16 points. He's walking away with 36 points total. Very nice. Very well done. Good performance. Now, we'll be pretty happy with it. Probably won't be happy with certain things, but uh, for the most part, it's pretty good. Yeah, I feel like 7 1. He got oh, and human mustard taking the death. Very unfortunate, and I yeah, I feel like Teeks is going to be working on his jump into the clip. Um, for seven one, that seems to be what his biggest enemy was. I mean, he got the sub pixel. There's no way to mess up the sub pixel fifteen or fourteen there. Unfortunate. Have to take that death. Gotta, you know, give the, the A button those tappy taps. A little tappy tap. Tap, 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 a roo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Human Mustard has two minutes left to go, and then his run is done. So I think he's gonna equip the frog suit after the fortress, I'm guessing, or just play around and have a good time. Nah, he'll do it for Bowser. I don't know. He doesn't have enough time to make it to Bowser. Got, yeah, I'll do it anyways. Yeah, I'll do it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> he's she's just hoping right now. He's just losing it right. Yeah, see, I knew it. Well, I can tell oh, Teeks he go. did. Unfortunately, we'll not be getting conveyor P speed here with the frog. <laughs> no conveyor P speed with the frog. He is going to get himself gated here, though. Uh, unable to pass. That's why he wants to make it without. Oh, and he bonked his head. Ooh. Very unfortunate. The ceiling, man. The Just ceiling. like that. A ceiling. Got to watch out for that. Warp whistle. Tank one. can try conveyor P speed, I guess. No, first try nice. only. But he, he never tried it. He did get it. Oh, he didn't try it. That's right. He did get it there. He did get it. Good call, Haxer. He did get it there. All right. Let's see what he has, what he has time for next. Nice. Some doorway memes. Is he? Oh, he's not going to doorway meme. No. Oh, nice. <laughs> you know, it's just taking some damage boosts. On his way to the boom boom here. Very nice. Save a little bit of time there. He's got 15 seconds left. Go. Go. Very nice for Human Mustard for coming out. Thank you so much, guys. Everyone give Human Mustard a follow. Go say hi in his chat. Go give him some love uh, for what he did. I think is amazing. Uh, I think it's great. Yep. Well done. Well done to both. And thank you, Axler, for coming and joining me on race two and hanging around and memeing. We were just shooting the shit, having a good time. I hope you guys had a good time, and I hope Axler had a good time. I had a horrible time. Never come back. Sounds about right. <laughs> Sounds like. <laughs> Wait, I don't even know how to do my own command. Is that right? Okay, let's go to the challenge page. Right here. Uh, so we're gonna mark human mustard down oh, uh, for zero. 
And Teak's down for 36. Is that what he got? 36, I think it was, right? Yeah. Yeah, Teak's is a 36. Submit score, and there we go. He's in. WRD is his next opponent. Somebody who has been practicing a lot officially in the tournament. Up next, big, big games. But that being said, uh, yeah, I'm going to send you guys all over to Human Mustard because I want you guys just to just go follow him. Just have a good time. Give him a follow. Bug him. Bug him about a frog. He'll probably do a frog suit run for you if you ask him. If you ask him nicely, right, he'll do people, a frog suit people run. People clap. People clap. Yeah. Wide people happy. That's right. All right. Well, I say goodbye to everyone. Hope you guys all take it easy and enjoy the rest of your nights, including you, Haxer. You take it easy, dude. Yeah, you too. Everyone, enjoy the rest of your night. Take it easy, guys. Woo!